Hello and welcome back. Today is going to be an update video, but we're going to start off with this sweet story where, according to etcanada.com, Megan and Harry, in their article, have done something absolutely special. So the article says, Meghan Markle and Prince Harry continue to do their bit for charity. The charity My Grateful, an organization that runs cookery classes led by migrant chefs, who are struggling to integrate and access employment due to legal and linguistic barriers, announced Friday they'd received a generous donation of around 14,000 Canadian dollars from the Duke and Duchess of Sussex. So, this is their post. We are so excited to share that we have received a donation of 8,000 pounds from the Royal Foundation on behalf of the Duchess of Sussex, Meghan Markle. We are immensely grateful for this donation, which will go towards supporting the My Grateful mission. Harry and Meghan recently confirmed their Sussex Royal Foundation was no more, using the remaining funds to support incredible causes close to their hearts. The article goes on to say a description on the charity website reads, My Grateful looks to support migrants in a number of ways relating to well-being, employment, and integration. We provide our chefs with wider social networks, improved English language, and communication skills, increased confidence, a source of income, and opportunities to celebrate and share their culture. Royal fans will know Meghan has a passion for cooking, with her previously helping the ladies of Hub Community Kitchen create a cookbook of their favorite recipes. She wrote the foreword of the book together, Our Community Cookbook, to help raise funds for victims of the horrible 2017 Grenfell Fire. Meghan and Harry also got stuck in as they visited Homeboy Industries in Los Angeles recently, where they prepared food for seniors and youth across the city they now call home with baby Archie. So that is fantastic news. What a generous donation. After her work with the Hub Community Kitchen, Meghan is still looking for ways to be impactful and we are so proud of this couple. It has been a great week for them as well. Prince Harry had his Travelist uh, virtual summit, and I did a post about that, so be sure to check that out. So they are truly the Duke and Duchess of Impact. So this is for you, Sylvia. You had asked me to cover the story where Harry called Meghan the most beautiful woman in the world. Now, I did realize that in a way I had kind of covered the story, and perhaps the article that I read from did not necessarily have that line included so I looked it up for you and here courtesy of people I will include the story here just for you. So this is the excerpt from Finding Freedom where Prince Harry and Meghan were first starting off to date. So the article says here from people.com Prince Harry's unexpected texting style charmed Meghan from the start. After the prince left his blind date with Meghan in the summer of 2016, he knew he had met his match. Wow, Harry later confessed to a friend. According to the best-selling book Finding Freedom, Harry and Meghan end the making of a modern royal family. The most beautiful woman I've ever seen. So at the evening meet-up with pals at London Soho House, Meghan and Harry were in their own little world, a source says in the book by veteran royal journalist Omid Scobie and Carolyn Durand. Later that night, Harry wasted no time in texting Meghan, who was back in her hotel room. <laughs> His messages were often short and full of emojis, in particular the ghost emoji, which he often used instead of a smiley face, write the authors. For what reason, nobody knows. But Meghan found his texting Etiquette, funny and adorable, just like the prince. <laughs> Cute. The article here shows a picture of the ghost. Friend of Megan added, he definitely didn't hide the fact that he was keen. He wanted her to know he was very interested. And the feeling was mutual. The next night they met up, this time just the two of them. It was as if Harry was in a trance, another friend said. 
Just six weeks after their first date, Harry whisked Meghan away to his favorite destination, Africa, where they enjoyed a five-day escape away from the spotlight. So that's a quick excerpt from the book Finding Freedom, talking about them and their first encounter. And for sure, it is heartwarming. Now, it's interesting that he does call her the most beautiful woman I've seen in my life. Those are his words and his quotes. And it reminds me of an article that was published a while ago talking about uh, the beauty of the royal women. And let me just quickly get it here for you. And this is from perthnow.com.au. So the article says, Princess Diana ahead of Meghan and Kate as the most beautiful royal of all time, according to the Golden Ratio Theory. So that's the title of their article. So it was talking about the royal women, and this is not pitting anyone against one another. I'm just talking about how Meghan was referenced in this article. So according to the ancient Greece's Golden Ratio formula, they did talk about how Meghan uh how Megan fit within that ratio and they did in fact say she was quite beautiful. So they say the golden ratio relies on symmetry to determine beauty and when taking measurements, the length of the ear must be equal to the length of the nose and the width of an eye should be equal to the distance between the eyes. So they do rate that Princess Diana was a very narrow winner. They talked about the Queen of Jordan and second, Princess Grace was a very close third. This is according to Dr. De Silva. And then we have Meghan who, according to the study, had an almost perfectly shaped nose with a 98.5% score. Her eye position is exactly right. She has a gorgeous V-shaped or heart-shaped chin, which is the shape most women covet. So that's it, and it is fantastic. Harry has an eye for beauty. And if you study more about the golden ratio, it is such an interesting study. I, I did a study on that a while ago, and it is fantastic how it is in nature. And, you know, it's something that you can't ignore, that design throughout nature. And it's it's just something that's mind-boggling, all the things that I've discovered about it. God is real, folks. So, Megan, there she is. She is quite beautiful. And it's great that Harry saw that in her. I think that she's beautiful within and without. So, this is an update for you on those two great stories. Leave your thoughts in the comments section below. Now, if you like this one, give it a thumbs up. Click subscribe. I would love to see her again. And also be on the lookout for more fun videos and reactions. And for those of you who are um, into entertainment, Megan's friend called Janina Gavankar, and you are Star Wars fans, she will be having a virtual convention on Sunday. So after your online church, hop on, be there with other fine Star Wars folks. And I will link it in the comment section. So if you want to know about that, go check that out as well. So thank you for watching this. I love you all. Thank you to my Patreon supporters. Thank you for choosing to support my channel. And if you like this video, once again, give it a thumbs up and share. It does help out my channel. I love you all. Have a wonderful day wherever you are, and I will catch you in the next one. Have a blessed one.